Hello, good morning. Uh, <coughs> I looked on YouTube and I realized that there's not really any very, very basic FL videos, like uh, ones that show you how to use the playlist in terms of like, what do the lines mean? And like, how, how do things work? How do you navigate everything? I also want to show you a couple of things with the playlist that I haven't really seen anyone else show, <coughs> uh, including how to make the arm and break or make an arm and break make a break like this make something similar with like uh packs like this how to do that in the playlist how to do that in the piano roll i just said this the wrong way around anyway so i know you don't yet have these packs um if we meet up again i'll i'll bring the drive and i, I can give you all of these but basically you just want to get a kick that's kind of short uh, doesn't really have uh, too much high end and doesn't really have a sub bass note. It kind of just goes, goes down like this. It's like ones that like this aren't really great, but ones like this are better. I might even use this one. <coughs> and you want to get a snare. You want one that's something along those lines. Something that's short, but not too short, so if you can't really find anything, you could go into find a longer snare, like this, and shorten it, just like that. <coughs> okay, I might change this uh, kick, but I'm showing you what sounds to get. Uh, you also want to get a ride something short, it might even be an open hat, if that's easier. <coughs> and you're going to want to get something, you're going to want to get something that you can use as the percussive chucka chucka groove in between uh, the first snare and the second kick. So like, like this. You want to get half of that's going to be the hat. Let me just shorten this a bit. And you want to get like either a rim shot or another snare or something that's like. Okay, we'll try to make something with this. So I'm just going to short it, shorten, pitch it up a bit. Wait. And volume down. Like this and this is basically everything you need you just need these couple simple sounds and <coughs> when i saw you using the playlist you didn't really have any correlation you didn't really understand what these lines mean so like when you're if i go to the playlist turn on the metronome you can tell okay so these lines this is what you're going to program your jump drums to this is what you're going to keep in mind. This is what you need to be looking at. So there's four of these. It's split into four, four sections. And those four sections are split into four sections. And there's four sections here. And there's a lot of sections. And <coughs> for drum and bass, you're making a two-step pattern. You're going to want a kick at the start. And I'll just put these in to show you. This is your pattern, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'll start with a snare actually because it's probably easy to understand. The snare goes on the two, not this one. The snare goes on the two and the four. You can probably already tell where this is going. And the kick goes on the, the first one. And instead of going on the three, it goes slightly over here to the middle. So. That's your drum and bass two-step band. Uh, don't mind my family. And then you want your hi-hat. This just goes where you feel like it. Uh, for drum and bass, you usually just. Maybe some of them lower the velocity a bit. And when you want to get that ch progressive chucka chucka groove, uh, I usually layer the snare anyway so that it's not that obvious that something else is going on 
and you want this type pattern. So it goes chugga chugga in between here. So you put a snare here, put a snare here, and you put one at the end. And this is very quiet, this one. So it goes something like this. And that's your basic groove, that's your basic drum and bass, that's your basic uh, break beat, basic break. <coughs> and usually, like in the arm and break and other breaks, there's more kicks. Uh, there's a kick here. And it's not always, but sometimes what they do is they put another kick here, make this normal volume, and lower the volume of this one. So... And that's basically every every single arm and break. Like if you listen to this one, this one doesn't really have the the double kick here, but some of them do, like some of the other arm and breaks. Right, and now I'm going to show you how to do that same thing in the playlist. I'll just shorten this. Oh, that's loud. So you still have this is the, still still the same as in the playlist. You got one, two, three, four. So you're going to get your snare, and the two and the four. You're going to get your kick at the start. And then you get another kick here, in the middle of this one. So, slightly closer to the snare. And the hi-hat, we just bit faster Boy, too much <laughs> and the snare we layer it with the other one and we proceed to chucka chucka so over here here and here um, I shouldn't have copied this copy it now like that and I'll just get rid of the tail of this last one. Okay. And I'll show you the uh, kick patterns in more detail in the playlist as well. So first kick and second kick. In the playlist it's harder to manage volumes, velocities, uh, so Drum and bass producers usually do all of this in the playlist, but just do whatever you feel like you can do it in the uh, piano roll. <coughs> but I don't really go too crazy with the kicks uh, too often. What I will show you as well is how to vary everything up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to show you that with this break. What I like to do is uh, slide the first kick of the second bit over as well to make it the same, to make this part the same as this. So I'll just take this over here. So it sounds something like this. No. Like this. So I'll have like uh, two of them normal, or like, yeah, like this, and just the second half, change it up a little bit. And then usually I do the double kick on this part, just like that. Maybe on this part as well. There you go. That's basically, basically everything you need to know. Um, <coughs> if you want to know how I'm doing, everything like this, and this, and all of this, like, uh, oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh God. Uh, so these, these are your different essential tools, like in uh, Adobe software. Uh, this part right here, 
you just scroll this and it makes things bigger you scroll here these you just hover over uh, you see what you need to press so if I want to cut something like I just press C hold shift cut like this press P get rid of everything very simple just need a little bit of practice to uh, get a, get the hang of it but that's basically everything you need to know that's the very basics that's how you stay in time uh, you adjust your BPM over here and that adjusts how quickly the one two three four goes if I set this down to what it's usually like 130 is the default it's not really drum and bass anymore or if I if I'm making drum and bass I usually set it 180 fiddle around see <coughs> what kind of stuff you need to get used to get used to them um, one thing is this part this is uh, something that's going to be really different from you to me because I have a MIDI keyboard so I have this turned off but if you have this turned on you can't use these shortcuts anymore because if you press a key on your keyboard it plays the instrument that you're you have selected so if I open like vital if I press it, it plays the keys and if I turn this off it does the shortcuts instead over here so I don't know how you're gonna do that figure that out cool challenge but that's basically everything uh, I'll send you these packs I'll s I can probably send you this break just by itself uh, that shouldn't be too difficult I'm, I'm gonna do that and you can just experiment see what you can come up with. Just do what I did when I started.